Today we are going to continue the series of tutorials meant for the ones who just begin to, uh, to view from newspapers. I'd like to remind you that we have gotten to know how to roll up the tubes, to make a round bottom, to pass on from the bottom to the walls, to weave the walls and to finish the item. In today's lesson I will show you how to make the simplest holders. We will make them on the example of the same item. One of the holders is ready, and now we will examine the process of the example of the second one. I have taken the tubes that used to be engaged in weaving before. I had to unweave the item that I had failed with, and instead of throwing them away, I decided to use them for making such essential elements like making holders. For convenience, we divide our bars in two halves, and approximately here we will fix our second holder. I don't always measure, sometimes it is enough to determine the place by sight. So, I indent a couple of rows and fix the first tube. This way. I have fixed it, bent in two. And uh, now I see that one tube will not be enough, so I take two more tubes. I don't insert the second one into the same hole, but instead I insert it uh, in the next hole from the opposite side of the pole. So I insert the second tube, but it seems to me that it will be too thick, uh, too thin anyway, so I decided to take the third tube. And somewhere near the first tube we insert the third one. Got it. The first group of tubes is ready. We fix the second one in the same way. Measure it again and fix it approximately here. Indent a couple of rows. The item is not big. We are not going to carry anything heavy in it, so I think that fixing through two rows is quite sufficient. If the item was massive and uh, was meant for carrying something heavy in it, the holders would be fixed more thoroughly. We will get to know different varieties of holders and different ways of fixing them later. So, we have gotten uh, two groups of tubes ready for making holders. As a rule, I connect them this way and to check the holders to be of about the same size. I do it just by sight as well. And also to make uh, women with working tubes more convenient, I always fix them using a thread. I haven't prepared a thread beforehand, so I have to measure it once again. This way, starting from the middle. It will make uh, winding a newspaper tube around the group of tubes much more convenient. The thread has come out too short. But it's no problem, anyway it will be hidden under the tube. Cut one more piece of a thread and continue fixing. It is better to take your time now to make the item neat and to avoid improving it later, when we engage glue in our work. Finish this way. The holder is almost shaped. I try to fix uh, the tips and cut them to make it neat. To 
be more extra tips of thread sticking out of the item. That's all, the base is ready. We take the regular tube and fix it. I personally fix it this way. I will drop some glue. And it will fix tightly. Now I spread some glue onto the part of the holder. And we start weaving carefully. We cannot avoid staining the fingers, of course, but sometimes we have to put up with unpleasant senses. And we start carefully winding the tube round. We try to make the gaps between the tubes as little as possible. But in this case it is not uh, too essential, because both the tubes of the base and the working tubes are of the same color. And moreover, the item is supposed to be painted afterwards, because the tubes are not prepared. I mean that the tubes are not painted yet, they require further treating. If we were working with colored tubes, it would, be, it would be still more important to avoid gaps between the tubes. We lengthen the tubes in the same way as we can do it already, as we did in the previous lessons while weaving. So, we have almost reached the end. Now it is very important to see how to tick the tips of the tube carefully. And how to finish the work neatly. We reach the very basket. Here we could finish it, but let's make one more turn. And here we take a knitting needle again, prepare space for our tube, we pull the tubes apart a little and make a hole the tube will fit in, and use the same technique of finishing the item. At first we will round it off a little to avoid breaking the tube and now make such a loop and carefully with the help of a knitting needle insert it into the hole prepared beforehand. Now the only thing left is to tighten. We try not to pull too hard, not apply force because paper has a tendency to break. This way, to be on the same side, let's drop some more glue. And we can cut the remainder with the help of scissors without waiting until the item dries out. And here we see the remaining uh, tips as well, so we cut it too. That's all, our holders are ready. It was uh, only one variety of holders, the simplest way of making the holders. Uh, the holders have come out a little uneven anyway, but until the item gets grounded and painted, there is still an opportunity to make them even, which we do. The holders uh, can be of different kind. For example, this kind of a holder. The item is not varnished yet as well. And there is one more kind of a holder, more exo exotic looking one.
So today we have gotten to know how to make the simplest holders. Next time we will learn how to make such a lead. By the way, it fits here rather well, though it was actually meant for quite a different item. See you next time!